Ahmad, founder of Zero Da, recently revealed that he suffered from a mild stroke. Nitin is 44 years old. This used to be uncommon until a few years ago. But strokes in people under the age of 45 are on the rise. Why? Reading room asked Dr. Lennon D'Souza, an endovascular surgeon from Mangalore, to tell us more. Now we all know that Narayana Murthy asked young people to put in 90 hours of work a week. But is this really healthy? We get all our answers from Dr. Lennon D'Souza. Our first question is, what is a stroke? What happens when you work for 90 hours a week? The chances of you having a stroke go up. You may ask me what a stroke is. A stroke occurs when blood flow to the part of the brain is interrupted or reduced, depriving brain tissue of oxygen and nutrients. Now this can happen due to a blockage in the artery, what is called an ischemic stroke or a burst blood vessel that is called a hemorrhagic stroke. How do we recognize symptoms of a stroke? Remember, be fast, where B stands for balance. Watch for difficulty walking, some dizziness, loss of balance or coordination. E is for eyes. If one develops a sudden trouble in seeing in one or both the eyes. F stands for face. Look if the person affected has sudden drooping of the face or when they smile, the smile looks uneven. A stands for arm. There may be sudden numbness or weakness in the arm or the leg, especially on one side of the body. S stands for speech. Look for confusion, trouble speaking, any slurring of speech or understanding speech. T stands for time. Every minute once a stroke sets in, 1.9 million neurons in our brains die. But time is also essential because often a patient coming to the hospital can have their symptoms reversed if they receive timely treatment. What happens once I reach the hospital? It is essential to reach a stroke-equipped or stroke-ready facility. After a quick clinical examination, you may be shifted to get a CT or an MRI scan performed. Depending on the type of stroke, if it's a clot blocking your blood-brain vessel, what is called an ischemic stroke, Within four hours, a neurologist can administer a clot-busting drug known as a thrombolytic. If the symptoms haven't reversed, then a neurointerventional radiologist can go in through one of the blood vessels through either your groin or your wrist, navigate fine tubes all the way up to the brain blood vessels and completely remove the clot. Although this is often preferred within six hours, we can often offer this to our patients up to 24 hours, depending on the symptoms. In case there's a bleeding in the brain, what is called a hemorrhagic stroke, the bleeding has to be stopped by means of different procedures called clipping or embolization. And these can either be performed by a neurosurgeon or a neurointerventional radiologist. Minor strokes may often recover quickly with medication and may need screens for other conditions like checking for a regular heart rhythm or correcting blocks in blood vessels leading to the brain, what we call carotid artery or vertebral artery stenosis. What are some things I can do post a stroke? After a stroke, proper medical attention is crucial. Rehabilitation, physiotherapy and ongoing care can help regain lost abilities and help prevent future strokes. Follow medical advice, take your prescribed medications, attend therapy sessions and make necessary lifestyle changes. Are there any preventive measures? Reduce your risk of stroke by maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Now this includes eating a balanced diet, exercising regularly, maintaining a healthy weight, avoiding tobacco and excessive alcohol consumption and controlling certain conditions like high blood pressure, diabetes and high cholesterol. As evidenced by Nitin Kamath's recent stroke, the importance of getting regular good sleep and managing stress cannot be understated. Regular checkups with healthcare professionals can also help identify and manage risk factors. Our key takeaway is don't exert yourself too much. Work and fitness are not everything. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle is what is the most essential.